Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss manage identity in logic app. So what is our requirement? So we want to upload a blog with text hello world from our logic app. So again, simple straightforward requirement. So of course that logic app, it needs permission to access this blog storage account, right? So such permission we can provide either using access keys or we can use managed identity and guys Microsoft recommends that as far as possible instead of using access key you should go for managed identity now guys, before we see this actual demo let's first understand this managed identity concept so guys we have this logic app and then this blob storage so from logic app we want to write something in this blob storage so obviously this logic app needs permission to access this blob storage right so such permission we can provide using either access keys or alternatively we can use managed identity so how this managed identity will work so first we will create a separate resource that is user managed identity so again it is a separate resource itself in azure and we will assign this user managed identity resource to this logic app and finally we will go to this blob storage and we will provide the required permission to this user managed identity resource so again now this user managed identity resource it has the required permission to access this blob storage and we have linked this user managed identity resource to this logic app so guys what is this managed identity what is user managed identity versus system identity so i have created separate video for this and i will share the link of that video in the description of this video and now let's see the demo so guys we are in this storage account and under that we have this container that is test container and basically we want to upload a blob in this test container okay now guys important thing see when we create this storage account make sure we select this checkbox that is default to microsoft intra authorization so again guys please check this checkbox when we create this storage account okay And now the first step let's create that user managed identity so here let's search for managed identities let's click on it let's create new let's select resource group and let's give name so i will say identity for logic app let's say review plus create and create and now obviously we need to assign this managed identity to our logic app so here i will duplicate this tab and guys i have already created this logic app and now under search let's say identity let's select it here let's select user assigned i will say add and see this is the user assigned identity which we just created so let's select it let's say add okay guys so we have linked this managed identity with our logic app right but then we need to provide required permission for this managed identity to access that blob storage account right so let's go to our storage account now here under access control I'll say add add role assignment now here I will search for blob contributor so this storage blob data contributor next so we are assigning this storage blob data contributor role to this manage identity right so let's select this manage identity I will say select members and from this drop down guys see this user assign manage identity it says there is one and let's select it let's say select review plus assign review plus assign 
सो बेसिकली दैट्स इट गाइज एंड नाउ अवर लॉजिक ऐप हैज द रिक्वायर्ड परमिशन टू एक्सेस दिस स्टोरेज अकाउंट सो लेट्स गो टू लॉजिक ऐप देन लॉजिक ऐप डिजाइनर नाउ गाइज फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी आई विल क्रिएट अ स्केड्यूल दैट इज रिकरेंस ट्रीगर एंड इट विल एक्जीक्यूट एवरी फाइव मिनट्स सो लेट सेलेक्ट इट आई से रिकरेंस and let's make it run every 5 minutes and now finally the action and again the action is to add a blob with hello world text right so let's search for blob let's say create blob but now guys obviously we need to create a connection to this blob storage account right and let's give name to this connection so i'll say i will say blob connection with manage identity and authentication type here let's select this logic app manage identity and let's say create and see guys the connection has been successfully created if our logic app did not have a permission to access this blob then this connection would not have been created okay and now here we need to provide the name for our storage account so let's copy this and now here first we need to provide the storage account name so i will say enter custom value and now we need to select the container so yes we can see the container in this storage account and guys blob name so i will say hello world and blob content so i will say hello world from logic app and let's collapse let's say and guys though this is a recurrence that is scheduled trigger but for the first time it must have been executed and let's cross check run history and yes it shows successful and now let's cross check in our storage account so containers test container and yes we can see this blob there is a hello world and we can see the contents written from our logic app so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening